Okay, welcome to day two of four for plate tectonics. Okay, our unit plate tectonics. Our topic is evidence for seafloor spreading in plate tectonics. Okay, we just learned about seafloor spreading. Now we're going to start getting into plate tectonics here very soon. So day two of four, your objectives. You'll know how the Earth's magnetic field protects us from the solar wind today. And you will understand how a little mineral called magnetite, it's a little magnetic mineral, think of it as a little compass needle if it helps, aligns itself with the Earth's magnetic field. And today you will know how paleomagnetic anomalies provide strong evidence for seafloor spreading in the theory of plate tectonics. Okay, big word, paleo just means old magnetic anomalies, okay? Anomalies is something that stands out, okay? Or says, look at me, okay? So reminder to pause this anytime you need extra time to write or use the slider to go back or forward, okay? Here we go. So, for your quick write, the Earth is a giant magnet. If this magnet reversed itself or flip-flopped, what do you think your compass would do, okay? And then... What do you think creates these magnificent light displays seen below here at the North and South Poles or near the North and South Poles? All right, go ahead and pause this for your five points for your quick write. I'm gonna move on. Okay, evidence for seafloor spreading. Just like everything in science, evidence is needed to prove a theory. In order to prove that the seafloor is growing, remember Harry Hess came up with the theory of seafloor spreading. Well, Harry Hess needed evidence. The following several slides deal with the evidence Harry has discovered in order to prove his theory of seafloor spreading. Okay, if you remember, we talked about a mineral called magnetite. Well, we'll come back to magnetite here in a second. As previously learned, okay, the Earth has a liquid outer core made of iron. Okay, it's liquid, it's molten, it's flowing. Okay, iron is magnetic. And this liquid outer core made of iron creates a giant magnetic field that surrounds Earth. Okay, and this magnetic field is what makes our compasses point north, right? So, well, the Earth's magnetic field did not always point north. In fact, the Earth's magnetic field has reversed itself or flip-flopped. So this is our normal state. This is what we're in right now. But the Earth's magnetic field has reversed itself, okay, in the past. So there you have it. Now, the last reversal occurred 700,000 years ago, okay? And if you were living back then, your compasses would have pointed to the south, like here, okay? So, and this is a reverse state, okay? And your compasses would have pointed to the south 700,000 years ago. So, well, this magnetic field of Earth is very important because it protects us from this solar wind, this blast of charged particles that shoot at us constantly from the sun. Okay, and this is like our force field, right? Like in Star Wars or something. This magnetic field is like our force field from the, the sun's harmful solar wind, okay, which shoots deadly radioactive particles at us. Okay, so this is very important, this magnetic field. So here's the sun's solar wind, okay? And this magnetic field here is what protects us from these charged particles that shoot out from the sun, okay? It's like our, like I said, it's like our force field. It's very good. Without it, okay, our lives would be very miserable, all right? So what, another interesting thing about this, okay, magnetic field is it interacts with the solar wind to create these beautiful light displays called the northern and southern lights or aurora borealis okay and these charged particles the solar wind sometimes does make its way to earth and it does so here at the north and south poles so these aurora borealis are these are basically the solar in solar wind interacting with earth's magnetic field here at the north and south poles okay so for your notes, write the question down. What is the Earth's magnetic field? Okay. And below your question, record your answer in the answer section. Use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the sentence here. Okay. Pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. Okay. Now here's where it starts getting a little confusing. Iron minerals, magnetite, and basaltic rock align themselves with the Earth's magnetic field, like miniature compass needles. So in any lava, okay, all lava has these little compass needles or these little magnetite minerals. It's an iron mineral, 
Okay, found in lava. Well, these little lava, these, excuse me, these little minerals align themselves with the Earth's magnetic field. Okay, just like little compass needles. So as lava cools, though, these magnetic minerals record the direction of the Earth's magnetic field like a compass needle. Okay. And then the lava cools into rock and it's locked in there. Okay. So it's recorded. Once that lava cools, okay, it records the Earth's magnetic field, okay, at the time in which it formed or cooled. Okay. So how does magnetite record the Earth's magnetic field? The question goes in your question section. Answer goes in the answer section. Okay. Use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the sentence here. I'm going to pause this or go ahead and pause this while I move on. Okay, magnetic clues. Harry Hess mapped the ocean bottom. If you recall, he dragged what's called a magnetometer behind his boat. He discovered stripes or anomalies on the seafloor bottom. Okay, let me go back real quick. Okay, so he discovered these stripes. Okay, he didn't know what these were at first, but... It, okay, what Harry Hess did eventually realize was that each stripe was a reversal in the Earth's magnetic field. So your compasses would have pointed north, south, north, south, each stripe. Okay. Well, so each stripe was a record of Earth's magnetic history. This discovery provided strong evidence for seafloor spreading. Okay. So let's go back 1,400,000 years ago here. Okay. Look at the rock forming back then. The lava here is cooling. And if you remember, lava has magnetite in it. And these magnetic minerals align themselves with the Earth's magnetic field. And if you recall, okay, lava cools to make igneous rock, basalt here. Okay, so it cools and hardens, recording the Earth's magnetic history 1 million years ago, 1.4 million years ago here. Okay, so the rock forming back then had a normal state. Okay, now let's look at rock forming 700,000 years ago. Okay, recall that the Earth's magnetic field was reversed then. Okay, and guess what these little minerals, magnetite minerals, did? Represented by these arrows here, they aligned themselves with the Earth's magnetic field in a reverse direction. Okay, and that lava cooled and recorded the Earth's magnetic field. Okay, and so we, these rocks forming here showed a reversed polarity or direction. Okay. And now let's look at rocks like today. Okay, so if we were to go down to this mid-ocean ridge here where this lava is forming, we would see, okay, minerals that are aligned with the Earth's magnetic field, a normal state. Once again, that lava cools and solidifies and records the Earth's magnetic field as it is today, which is a normal state, okay? So each stripe represents, okay, a reversed polarity or a change in Earth's magnetic field. Okay, so that was big news because that proved that the seafloor is in fact spreading apart. Okay, let's take a look at here. Remember Pangaea breaking up here? Good old Alfred Wegener. Well, let's look at these two continents spread apart. Look at these stripes. Look at this compass over here. As the continents spread apart over millions of years, okay the Earth's magnetic field flip-flopped and the rocks recorded it, okay? They recorded a reversal proving that the seafloor is in fact spreading here, okay? So very important. And notice the rocks are the same age, same age here. The red rocks, same age. These rocks are the same age. So very important concept. Let's watch it one more time, okay? So notice this over here. When this when your compass is flip-flop, the rocks record the change in the Earth's magnetic field here. Okay. Remember, okay, lava is cooling right here, recording the Earth's magnetic field. Okay. All right. So there you have it. Magnetic stripes or anomalies. These stripes are evidence. These anomalies are something that stands out. And these anomalies proved that the seafloor is in fact spreading apart. Okay. So, for your notes, 
How did magnetic stripes, or these anomalies we say, provide evidence for the theory of seafloor spreading in plate tectonics? Big question, that goes in your question section, and this goes in your answer section. Remember to use the answer bank to determine which word best completes the sentence here. Go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. Okay, so summarize, all right? You can always record, do your own, or you can use mine, okay? Either way, you need to have your summary box filled up for 20 points, all right? So, uh, have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Go ahead and pause this, please.